Fade out one. Fade in three. Pizza Flicks Television Division presents... Charles Boyer in The Gift. Barnums have invited us over this evening. What for? Oh, you know, a little Christmas Eve celebration. Oh. You declined, of course. Well, I said I'd speak to you. Well, then tell them no, not tonight. Oh, Carl, couldn't we go? It might be fun. Oh, it's Christmas Eve, Minna. They'll want to be alone with their family. They won't want a lot of outsiders barging in. Oh, darling, we're hardly outsiders. What we've known them 20 years. And they invited us. Well, why don't you go if you'd like to? Alone? Yes. I wouldn't mind, really. Why oh, don't you? No, if you can't go, I won't go either. But I had hoped. You know, we haven't done anything about Christmas in four years. Not since Michael. I thought this year we might generate a little spirit. Christmas spirit. As synthetic as the snow they put on trees. Oh, Carl, you're wrong. People are rushing about. Loving all humanity for 24 hours oh. and it's over. But we'll have a nice evening, you and I. Really, darling? What do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. Cozy evening by the fire, maybe. There's that new book you've been trying to get to. I have some stock market reports to check. Well, I better be going. Oh, by the way, you didn't do anything foolish this year, I hope. Foolish? Oh, you mean buy your Christmas present? <gasps> No, I didn't do anything foolish. Good. What could you give me that I really need? I have everything. I have you. Yes, you have me. The question is, do I have you? Now, why do you say that? You've been awfully strange these last days. I don't know. I don't know why I say that. Look, darling. Why don't you order yourself something nice for Christmas? I mean it. Why don't you? piece of jewelry, some furs. Oh, thank you, Carl. You're very generous. Generous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nonsense. I want you to have everything you want. You know that. I can remember other Christmases in this house. The gaiety, the planning, the excitement, the presents we hear, the tree that almost filled this room. Anna Mina, please, let's not discuss it. No, we don't discuss it. But do we forget? Do you, Carl? Past is the past. We live in the present. Maybe. Part of us. But I can still see him coming downstairs on Christmas morning in his little pajamas for his first glimpse of the tree. But no matter how early he got there, you were always there ahead of him. It was a long time ago. It's over. Done with. Carl, you must stop feeling this way about him. Michael is my son, too. Why don't you realize what you're doing to us? Michael is gone, Mina. Gone. You sound as though he were dead. As far as I'm concerned, he is. Here he comes. Good morning, Mr. Baxter. Good morning. Merry Christmas, Mr. Baxter. Don't ever wish him a Merry Christmas. Why not? Well, he used to be a human being about it, but for the last few years... Oh, well, I don't understand. What happened to him? I don't know, but it's getting so I hate to see the month of December roll around. Mr. Kramer has requested a copy of his holdings. All right, send it to him. And Mr. Billings called to cancel his appointment for today. Cancel? Why? Oh, he said he'd forgotten the day was Christmas Eve. Oh. Thought you'd understand. Shall I make another appointment for next week? No, no. Don't bother. Yeah, make three copies of this immediately. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Merry Christmas, Miss Green. Merry Christmas, Mr. Landy. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Mitchell. Merry Christmas. Mr. Baxter in? Just came in. Nine o'clock on the nose. You know, if he ever came in at 9.05, the world had come to an end. <laughs> morning, Carl. Well, good morning, George. Oh, your watch is all right. <laughs> I thought I'd just shake the world of finance to its foundation by getting in ahead of you just once. Well, oh, of course. Today is the Martin stock transfer. No, today's the day before Christmas, and I want to clean up my desk and get out early. Oh, yeah. You know, I must be getting old. <laughs> I tell you, I'm worn out, and it isn't even Christmas yet. That grandson of mine is running me ragged. You ought to see him. He walks now. We can't put any ornaments down low on the tree. Really? <laughs> I thought I had everything done. And this morning, Mary handed me a list as long as your arm. Then last night, the Christmas tree lights went out. Good thing I checked them. What did you have in mind, George? I have a lot of work this morning. Oh, sign these, will you? What are they? Christmas bonus checks. $600 from Mrs. Mitchell. Six weeks salary. We never gave six weeks salary before. We've had a good year. Six hundred dollars. Well, all right. You don't have to sign it if you don't want to. I just thought the employees might feel better if they saw both our names on the checks. I'll sign it. But it's extortion. Just because it is Christmas, it develops that there are 58 weeks in the year. And if you don't pay, they gossip over their sandwiches at noon. And pretty soon, every firm in the street is saying that Baxter and Lennox are not doing too well. They didn't pay their annual blackmail. Secretaries. Janitors. You started this bonus system, remember? Back in 34, when we weren't even drawing salaries ourselves? That was different. Those were hard times. Look, Carl. Why don't you and Minna come over to our place tonight? It'll be a madhouse with the kid, but it might make you feel better. What do you mean, feel better? There's nothing wrong with me. I just resent all this uh, foolishness about Christmas. Who are you trying to kid? This is old George. I know you. You were worse about Christmas than I am. You were downright sloppy about that kid of yours. Now, look, George, I don't tell you how to spend Christmas, do I? Then don't tell me, David Johnson. Now, who is David Johnson? The elevator boy. Oh. I just signed a check for the elevator boy. This is the new boy. But this boy hasn't been in the building two weeks. Do we have to pay him a bonus too? Now, you know we have to. Everybody in the building will give him something. And if we don't, I suppose you'll refuse to bring us up and take us down. Oh, for Pete's sake, it's $25. I'll give him my personal check. Now, look, George, I'm a partner in this firm. If the new elevator boy gets a Christmas bonus, it will be from both of us. I'll sign it. Yeah, you'll sign it in resentment and anger. That's a fine Christmas spirit. I said I'll sign it. Why don't you stop torturing yourself, Carl? So you had a son, and he didn't work out the way you planned it. But he's still your son. My son is gone. You talk as if he were dead. He's only gonna be away a couple of years. You ought to be proud of him. He's a first-class geologist. Is that all you wanted, George? For me to sign these checks? Yeah, sure. All right. Eat yourself up inside if that's the way you want it. But you can't cut Christmas out of the calendar just because it reminds you of things you want to forget. Did you like it? God bless you. Merry Christmas. For the Christmas fun. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and God bless you. Please, sir. What is it? The Christmas fund. Anything you care to give. How did you get in here? Why, I, I, I knocked twice. Christmas donations are taken care of through the proper channels. But, sir, I... Now, please be good enough to leave my office. Not wonderful. I'm glad tonight. I hope I'm good for you and my dad. Oh, you didn't give it to you, but I did. I'll get it to you in just a moment. All right. I love it. I'm so glad. Mrs. Mitchell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How did that woman get in here? 
Oh, I didn't know she was in here. I'm sorry. Well, perhaps if you'd been at your desk, you would have known it. Well, I just stepped away for a minute, Mr. Bax. All right, I'd like to dictate. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get my book. All right, will you? <sighs> Today of all days. What's the matter now? Who wants to dictate. Oh, great. All right. National Bank, Trust Department, New York City. Um, we sent a check to that uh, Christmas fund, didn't we? Oh, yes, sir. $500. Yes, I thought so. Uh, attention, Mr. William Collins. Dear Mr. Collins, in reply to your letter of the 20th, however, while the market cannot be considered too reliable at this moment, the investment can hardly be considered a risk. I would recommend a short-term purchase of the preferred stock. Is that the new watch, Mrs. Mitchell? Oh, no, no. Oh, I thought perhaps it was the way you were admiring it. I'm sorry, Mr. Baxter. I just thought we might finish early today. Why? You have something important to do? No, I mean, What I... was that last paragraph? Um... I would recommend a short-term purchase of the preferred stock. Oh, yes. Stock. Uh, of course, this is merely a suggestion. If you feel you would rather consider... Mr. Baxter. Yes? If you don't mind, I'd like to leave now. It's very important. More important than your job? Oh, no, it isn't that. It's just that today I... The hours are nine to five. You mean... You mean that if I leave now, I'm fired? Well, if this is too long a day for you, you'll be... Mr. Baxter, I don't understand what kind of a man you are. All year long, you're so kind and considerate, but at Christmas time, you... Well, I know it's a difficult time for you, but I have my problems, too, and it just isn't worth it. I don't think I want to work for you anymore. I don't think I care if I never work for you again. What's the matter? Nothing. What have you been doing? Chasing her around the desk? Very amusing. Why was she upset, Carl? Wanted to get off early. And you said she couldn't. Well, if I let one of them off, they'd all want to get off. I don't suppose she told you why she wants to get off early. Oh, last minute shopping, no doubt. Probably wants to spend that uh, bonus you were so lavish with. I imagine she did, but not on shopping. Oh? She's going to spend it on a plane ticket. Plane ticket? Yeah. The whole office knew about it, but of course she wouldn't tell you. She's going to meet her husband. She hasn't seen him in two years. He's coming back from the Pacific. Merry Christmas, Carl. Thank you, and God bless you. Please, sir. Anything you can... No, no, wait. How was your day today, dear? It was all right. It seemed much colder today than yesterday. Yes. Yes, it is. Clara, answer it. Clara isn't here. Why? Well, I told her after she finished serving dinner, she could go to her sister's for Christmas. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And a Merry Christmas. Darling? Darling? That from Michael. But this one is for you. This year he sent you a present. Oh, don't you see? He wants to make it up. You should save his money. 
Oh, darling, let's open it. Come on. You open it. Well, don't you want to see what he said? What would that be? Neckties? Native art? I have no use for either. Oh, Carl, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Why should I be ashamed? Your son, halfway around the world, thinking of you, loving you, begging you to understand him. Love. He never had your sense for business. He tried to follow in your footsteps. You know he tried. Yes, he tried. Very hard. And he never wanted to hurt you. He'd have given up his career as a geologist and gone into business with you if I had let him. I know, I know. You helped him to go to Arabia. But, darling, he's a man now. He must do the work that he's happy in. Oh, I know what he meant to you. Don't you suppose he meant the same to me? He's gone. Oh, darling, I know how you feel. I know how it hurt. You were so proud that Christmas Eve when you offered him a partnership in your business as a gift. But, darling, he couldn't take it. He'd have been miserable in an office. All the years we invested in them. The time, the heartache. Love. And what are the returns? Oh, yes, two packages for Christmas. But, darling, you can't invest in children. They're not like stocks and bonds. They are so full those first years. Tonsils, report cards, summer camps and birthday parties. And Christmas. Yes. And Christmas. You think you've got everything because you have a son. But you're fooling yourself. One day he's grown up. And he's gone. And you're all alone. You have nothing. Nothing. I have to go now. Where are you going? To the club. Will you be gone long? Hmm? No. No, I don't think so. Carl. What's the matter, darling? Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. Thank you. I didn't expect to find anybody at the club tonight. Boy, isn't it just a perfect evening, though? Just crisp enough. Think we'll get some snow by morning? I have no idea. Nothing like snow on Christmas morning. You know, my wife says I'm just bad as a kid. I don't think we ever get over Christmas, though, do you? I, uh... I came down to get my son's Christmas present. Jenkins said I could keep it here in the storeroom. Even my wife doesn't know I bought it. You know, big secret stuff. That's nice. I, uh... I better get it. I got a lot to do tonight. Excuse me, Mr. Baxter. Can I get you anything? Another brandy? No, thank you. If I want you, I'll ring. Well, that's the point, sir. I'm all alone at the bar. The stewards have all gone home. You know, uh, Christmas Eve. No, oh, yes. That's all right. Thank you. What do you think of it? Very nice. Is <laughs> he going to be surprised? I remember when I got my first bike. It was a big day in my life. How old is your boy? Oh, he's quite a boy. He's going to be two in May. Two? Oh, I suppose I am rushing things a little, but you know how kids grow. Yes. Yes, I know. But don't rush things too fast, Mr. Adam. No, I won't. Well, good night, sir. Good night.
please, sir? Yes, sir, Mr. Baxter. Here are the brandy, please. Yes, Thank you. He didn't know it was a private club, and uh, he walked in, and, well, since it was Christmas Eve, uh, I hope it was all right, sir. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Thank you. How do you like it? Oh, fine. Puts me in mind of a drink we have back home. Where are you from? Virginia. Long way from home. Didn't seem so far. Till tonight. Sure wish I could be back home with the folks for Christmas. But I've only been on this job three weeks. Been after it a long time. Couldn't turn it down. You know what I mean? Do I? Oh, but I'd like to be there tomorrow morning. You know what we got, my mother? My father and I? No. Uh, no, I don't. An automatic dishwasher. <laughs> She's a real kick with presents. Any little old thing at all, and she makes a big to-do. <laughs> Imagine how she'll be with that dishwasher. Uh, good night, Mr. Baxter. Merry Christmas. Good night. Is there something I could do for you, sir? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, it's for my wife. I'd like to pick up a little gift for her. Yes, sir. Did you have anything special in mind? Well, I am I saw a little fur scarf in the window. Oh, the mink stole. Would you step this way, sir? This is almost a duplicate of the one in the window. It's a lovely stole. Silver mink, fully let out. It has a beautiful lining. Does your heart good, doesn't it, to see someone like that? Lady Bountiful, that's what we call her. Uh, what about this here? Well, they are very nice, but I think the stole is more attractive. Every year she comes in, just before we close on Christmas Eve. Every year? Well, ever since I've been here, this is my third year. She has the orphanage to bring the children in to talk to Santa Claus. He takes down their names and what they want. She pays the bill. And the store delivers the presents on Christmas morning. Nina. What did you say? Nothing. Oh. She is lovely, isn't she? Yes, lovely. I feel so sorry for her. Sorry? Why? Well, to be all alone like that, I've always thought it would be awful to be a widow. She told you she was a widow? Oh, no, sir. I've never talked with her. But there's a loneliness about a widow that you just can't mistake. When you've served the public as long as I have, you get to know people. But, sir, about the store. Open up! Open up! Carl, is that you? Yes. What happened? Did you forget your key? Uh -oh. In just a minute, I'll let you in. Well, come on. Oh. Give me a hand. Where shall I put it? Over there? Oh, it's so small. Just as well put it here. Oh, I had a terrible time. You know, the stores close up much earlier than they used to. I got lights and tinsel and snow, but I couldn't get a star for the top. Oh, by the way, um... Where are those uh, silly little packages from Michael? Just as well put them under the tree. Well, I'll go and get them. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Here is uh, something I picked up for you. Merry Christmas, darling. Merry Christmas. Well, if we want to be through by midnight, we'd better start placing the tree. Ah, let's see. 